Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday. Woohoo! So, um, I want to make some more of these uh, little strippy embellishments for the page. They can be a tuck. Um, I, I love these. And these were one of the ideas from Rachel at Roxy Creations. And um, I used a couple of them in my last journal. And I was like, oh, I think I'm running out. Well, I'm not running out. <laughs> I have eight of them here. But I just don't think you can have enough of these. And they're so fun to make. So, um, and they use up a lot of little scraps. So what I have here, oh, wait, hi and hugs. We got to do hi and hugs. Hi and hugs to Ron. Ron is Willa's husband. And I want to say hi and hugs to Ron and to Willa. Willa bought um, my one of my last journals and Ron kind of gifted it to her. So I thought that was so nice. So anyway, hi and hugs, Ron and Willa. You guys, I hope you're doing well and life is good. So um, that's it. Those are the only two I'm saying hi and hugs to today. <laughs> okay, so what I have here to work with is I have my little scraps. I have border strips. I have rectangle scraps and I have my little scrap bin so that I can get book page or music or whatever. So that's that's what we have to work with here. Let's just let's just grab out a hunk and see see where we're at. Oh my gosh. Um yeah, I look at those. I know I already have one that color, but oh well. These are nice, too. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm just going to kind of... I, I meant to do this ahead of time, kind of match things up a little bit, but didn't get it done. So, and we can, we can also cut things as we go a little bit, too. There is that. There's a nice piece of vellum that would be fun. Ooh, here's some good ones. Gosh, I'm throwing them all over the place, guys. Just making a giant mess right off the bat. But that could make a smaller one. I'm looking at these. These are from the tops of a 6x6. Six six, but I'm thinking you really could cover up. You really could cover up that hole, couldn't you? I wonder, maybe I'll go here. I'm just going to put a bunch together and then we'll decorate them, okay? Okay, those are smaller ones. Um, I would like a bit, a bit deeper, kind of like this, because then you can make it into a tuck. So I like that a lot. Okay, what's this one? That's a good one too. Um, these are all maybes. I'm gonna keep those out, keep that out, keep these little pieces. Ooh, that's a good one. That's Timmy Holtz right there. So hope you're all having a good Saturday. When this airs, I will be watching Miss Addie play volleyball, no doubt. Which, you know, is joy of my life. <laughs> it's just so much fun. She and the other granddaughters, it's just, it's just really fun to, to watch them. Okay. I think I'm going to call that good for now. What's this one? Hmm. Keep that out. Okay, that's good for for that bag of scraps. I think. And like I say, I will cut some if need be. There's a good one. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay, I think I have just the things I'm going to use out there. Let's look at this one. See what we might have to go with what. Here's a good, here's a good Timmy long one. Um, a lot of these are too skinny. This is a good one though. But they could be, <clears throat> you know, kind of embellishments on the top, but not not good as bases. So now we're going to go to the rectangle scraps. And I might cut some of these to be about the right width. Oh, love the Stamperia scraps. Let's grab those out. Ugh. Let's grab some of those out. Okay. Then I might, those are good. I might dig for what we need or something if we need something else okay i feel like i have enough to work with here so i want to cut some of these down <coughs> excuse me still kind of doing that little cough thing going on okay those are cute um this one's actually a good size. This one I might cut in half. Yeah. This is such a good base because it's kind of neutral. And this was the cover sheet on a Stamperia paper pad. So it makes me happy to be able to use those. Okay, so those are all ready. Ooh, look at this one. Isn't that just beautiful? I love Stamperia. So do I want that in half? I could, that could still be a good size tuck, I feel like. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Let's do two inches on this and then cut this one in half. Okay, and this one, <laughs> I think I'm going to do the two inch again, so I have a long strip there. I think I'm going to, this is a 12, in, 12 by 12 paper, so I'm going to cut that at six inches and just be good there. Maybe, eh, I don't know how long I want that. Okay, so I've got some, got some pieces, parts and pieces to work with. So just going to really layer these up. that it's got a line for me to follow so theoretically I should be able to cut it fairly straight <laughs> that's theoretically oh yeah that's better that's better I like that better okay I kind of want something sticking out that side that's good okay so let me grab my distress ink. I'm only going to distress here and there, but I think I want the base of this distressed. So I'm going to do that. So, oh, and I think I'm going to glue these rather than staple them. So I might just do the edges of this too. So we've got a kind of a busy day today. Um, today is, what's today? Wednesday. Um, and my husband's brother is coming. 
and he gets in at like 1.30 or something, but I have a dental appointment at noon because I'm going to get my teeth whitened. I'm so excited. I've never done it before, but I really feel like it, um, it kind of makes, I don't know, makes you look more youthful if your teeth are super white. <laughs> I'm trying it anyway. We'll see if it works. Oh, okay. I'll put that one there. And then this one's going to go kind of under that one. So I think right about there. And then I feel like these go pretty quick to decorate because clusters or things like that work great on them. So I love them for a tuck though on the side. Decoration is great too, but I really kind of like the tuck. Okay, so there's that. Then I want to get my um, little whale tail. Maybe we'll put a Edith Holden on that one. Be fun. So anyway, um, and then my husband's brother's here, and so there's much, there's much entertaining to be done. He comes, and then, um, oh, how does that work? Oh, we he, he goes on Monday, and we have all the services for our friend that passed away. I'm going to put that right there, and then we'll do some sort of decoration right there. Okay, look at that. One, two, th five, five, um, Five scraps used up. Let's see. What do we want to do with this one? Smaller, but that's okay. <clears throat> that's a little bit of... So, yeah, just, just going to be a busy few, busy few days. cute. I almost feel like I'd like a little lace or something. Oh, look at this. I don't want to cover up the, the paper particularly because it's pretty. What if I just... those on the edge there. Still room for something here. And do we want a tab on that side? Ooh. Here's a... Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm going to set my, set my tabs over here out my way. I'm just going to I like to go over embossing with distressing because it makes it pop right out. And in this case, it kind of mutes down the pink a little bit. So, okay. Hmm. <coughs> So I wonder how it'll be getting my teeth whitened with my cough. <laughs> it doesn't happen a lot anymore, but every now and again I get the little <laughs> going. So. Put that there. Can you guys hear my husband walking up above me? 
I don't know. Um, been listening to Roxy Creations to Rachel, and um, she's feeling concerned about some construction that's going on at their house, but you can't. I can't even hear it, but apparently it's pretty loud for her, <laughs> you know, and so. I was just kind of wondering. Okay, and then this is going to go on the other side. So this one will go on the other side of a page. I think I can slide this right under. Yep. There we go. That one's cute, I like that. Okay, putting them in the pile. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do half the video of making, half the video of um, decorating, but we might. I don't know. Then we might get them all decorated and need to make some more. Who knows? Okay, that's really nice. I'd sort of like a. Hmm, maybe this one. It's not too bad. I just want to use punches that I already have. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm, she says. Hmm. I love these punches. I I wish they would come back out with the um, the discontinued punch whale tail punch from uh, Stampin Up. I feel like they're missing the boat. They could make a bloody fortune, <laughs> don't you think? Ooh, gosh, what side of that am I going to use? Oh, but that would be, well, I don't have to cover that up. I think I'm going to use this side. See, I even struggle with that with scraps, which side to use. <laughs> oh, such pretty paper. That's a little bit of blue fern right there is what that is. Okay, oh, yep. Grab a little. So my dentist is my dentist is one of my one of my kids from the college where I worked. And um his wife is the receptionist, and then of course he's the dentist and you know got other staff too, but um it's so fun. Like um Yesterday, when I went for my cleaning, he always gives me a big hug. He's such a sweetheart. And it's just so crazy because now he's gray-haired. And I'm like, egad, how'd that happen? <laughs> oh, but he was, he was actually a student when I very first started at the college. And um, he graduated... And I don't, I can't remember what he graduated in the first time, but then he went kind of, oh, I kind of like that right there, um, exploring the world a bit, you know, um, backpacking and doing all this stuff. Well, in his travels, he met his wife and, um, But he, whatever he graduated in before, he kind of decided that wasn't what he wanted to do. So he ended up, um, he ended up coming back 
to our college. Isn't that cute? And um, taking more class, uh, more science classes, and then he went to dental school. And so it's fun because I was one of his first patients. <laughs> Um, let's find something, something. Yeah, that would be good background for it. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's make this one a little longer. Let's cut it right here. Uh, yeah, so he came back to our col college first, though, because... He needed um, science classes and stuff. Anyway, um, he rented one of the college-owned houses. So he had to come in every month and um, and give me his, maybe he gave me his rent, I think. And then, but he also had to um, pay his utilities. So he'd sit there um, at my desk, you know, and we'd visit and stuff. And so over the time where he came back to school, I got to know him a lot better and everything. And, um, you know, hear about his hopes and dreams and all that. And, yeah, it was... Well, that's weird, but I like it, so I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, so anyway, we got to kind of be good friends. And then when he opened his practice here, you know, we got married and opened his practice here. And, uh, I was one of his first patients. And then I went back to the college after seeing him and, um, put out an email that he'd opened his practice and so and he was giving five percent off to people from the college so um kind of helped him get his get his little practice beefed up and stuff and oh it was so funny the um I went into you know I don't know for something and um I said something about Chris <laughs> and his wife says when you're here if you could refer to him as Dr. Mast <laughs> just like okay <laughs> I get it the professionalism or whatever but it's like oh my goodness like my son-in-law is an eye doctor and I don't call him doctor when I'm in his office, I call him his first name. That's, that's because I'm his mother. <laughs> and for this kid, I was his friend. So I don't know. It was just kind of funny. I was like, okay. But she, she really, oh, I wonder if you could put that right there. I do like that. Um, she rules that office with an iron fist. But, you know, I think you need somebody like that to, to really make sure that, I said I wasn't going to, um, distress everything, but maybe just a little bit. <laughs> do I want it over here or do I want it there? I think I want it there. <clears throat> so, yeah. So anyway, now I call him Dr. Mast. But he doesn't hug all of his patients. I I get that privilege. Okay. It's funny how I just want to go this way, and then I end up having to put the um. I need need to put the tab on the other side, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> let's find a tab. I apologize for my froggy voice, cheesy peasy. It's like, when's it? When's it gonna get normal? Is it gonna get normal? Ooh, I like that. That's just neutral. <clears throat> so anyway, that's my story. That's my story about my dentist. So I have my 
this kid, I call him, he's probably 50 now, but, um, no, not quite. I don't know how old he is. Um, anyway, call him a kid. <laughs> so I have him, um, and my son-in-law is my eye doctor. And so I used to tease the kids at the college about getting their education so they could take care of me when I got old. It wasn't too far from the truth. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, I want to do one a whole different color. So I'm going to get rid of those. And let's do something with this one. I love this one. Um, I don't know. We could probably use these flowers again, couldn't we? Maybe could use this. Okay. See, it's because the pattern's over here. That's why I keep going this way. But I think I might like to do that. And this. And then a stripe down that away, I think. So, anyways. Yeah, there was one kid that was um, going to be a doctor and he was going to be a plastic surgeon. <laughs> so, I said, yep, yeah, you guys got to get your education so that you can take care of me when I'm old. And I said, especially you, Stephen. <laughs> So he's a plastic surgeon in Seattle, and I've never partaken of his services. But <laughs> mm, yeah, I think whitening my teeth is about as far that way as I'll go. But yeah, such good kids. I mean, what's crazy is now they have they have kids of their own that are grown. You know, it's like, oh man. Okay, um, gosh, what do I want up that side? A bit too much. Kind of wondering about cutting a little bit of that off and going up the side there. I think I will. Let's do it. My husband is very busy making, he's making, um, spare ribs for dinner tonight. He's been busy creating with his cooking for his brother coming. <clears throat> yeah, my brother's, his brother's coming and then my kids are coming for the funeral of our friend. So we're going to have some time with company. I'm hoping that I'll be far enough ahead on my videos that I'll be able to cover all these days, but I guess we'll just see. If I'm gone though at any point, don't have a video for a day, that's why. It's just having company and this funeral right on the heels of it. I just, I'm gonna do what I can because, you know, I need to craft. It's, it's, not a want, it's a, it's a need. Okay, I'm thinking, could I put the tab? Oh, look how fun that is. Or do I like it better over here? I think I like it better over here. I like it better over here because it can be a tuck. Okay, so let's find a... And then we're going to start decorating because we're halfway through. Good grief. It goes quickly. Well, that's not right. Oh. Okay. Let me grab out a bunch here. Let's see what we have. Whew, I'm having a warm moment. I haven't used these much. I have the stamps that go with the whale tail. That might be kind of fun once it's inked up. <laughs> it 
Okay. Um, I think I might ink just the edges of these so that it goes better with the tab. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be warm today. We're supposed to start getting some storming. We're supposed to start possibly the next couple of days have some rain and then I think next week it's supposed to snow. So, not that I'm thrilled with the snow starting already, but I'm ready to not have the smoke. I'm ready for the snow to blanket the mountains <laughs> and get rid of the smoke. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, so now we can decorate them, but we did good getting some Getting some scraps done, I feel like. And I'll leave these because if we have time, we'll do some more. So here are our, we have five of them. And what do we want to do? Excuse me one second. I just need to grab a little Kleenex. I keep sniffing. Um, Maybe do, you know, and I didn't use a, a single thing from my scrap bucket my scrap tray um what if we just grab I'll grab some clusters and see see what we might have that might go with something new Oh look, I have a tiny one in my clusters. That's kind of cool. Let's do that. So you could make tinier ones and have them be clusters. that right over to the edge of the um, tab. Okay. One and done on that one. That was good. Okay. Now, let's see what else we might have. See, like some of these things would be fun to just add. know that the color on that one's optimal um, let me get this over here so you can see what I'm digging through too I mean I love these something better okay those are too big here's what I need to do is I need to make some small clusters because I feel like my clusters are yeah I do I... <laughs> let's look at some fabric ones and just see if there's anything that I have more small fabric than I do Ooh, I like that on there. And then just maybe a flower from a flower from somebody. Let's see. Let me look over here. And here's some little ones. These are from Claudia, I believe. Timeless crochet for you. 
because last time I used a bunch of Shars. Shar has great ones too. Um, yeah. I, I like that. Okay. Let's not fuss around too much. We'll just go for it. I really liked how these came out in my last journal in my William Morris or Art Nouveau journal. And so I was like, oh, I really want to make some more of those. I need to remember for next Saturday, those small clusters is what we need. Paper ones. Okay, so that one's done. <coughs> mm, I love these two with these. So I just want something small right there. Ooh, I have an idea. I'm gonna put my lid on my art glitter glue for a second. Um, right here, I have these that, you know, that I did. I'm thinking of this little girl right there. These were for the, um, transparent washi project which I need to do the next so that's probably tomorrow um, I need to do the next one the next week already feels like it just flies by A little don't want her head to be pointed <laughs> just put her right there I think that's what I'm gonna do grab a glue page and just pop her right there because I really love this as it is to be honest but I kind of feel like there should be something that's the flowers are kind of a focal point, but these I had a question in my comments. Yeah, she's cute there. Okay. Um, I had a question in my comments about you make pretty things and then you cover them up. <laughs> and it's like each each piece needs a focal piece. Actually, these I I actually do think I'm going to leave this one as is cuz this is patterned enough. This one I just felt like it needed something in that space. I don't feel like this one does. These flowers go up higher. Yeah. Um one thing we could do with this is we could grab some sort of little bling and put it on there. I think I might like this one. I love these. I got these in a Happy Mail, and so I hoard them, kind of. And um, the person said they got them at Walmart. Well, our Walmart doesn't have them. So... Yeah, so I'm going to put that right there. That gives it a little. But anyway, um, we're talking, she was talking more about tags, you know, like the collaged back. And the collaged back is so pretty. Why do you cover it up? Well, I feel like, and this is just me. I mean, others would have other opinions, but um, I feel like you need a focal point on a tag. And so that's that's why I do that. Yeah. That's just a nice and adds a nice piece of texture to it too. Okay, then this one. Ooh, we are gonna have time to make a couple more. Okay, that one I feel like gosh, I wish I had a cluster that would work on that. 
Yeah, it just needs some smaller ones. That's the truth of it. Ooh. Booyah. Booyah, as they say. Booyah. We got it. Okay, cool. Now, we can, after I get this one on, we can make some more bases. Because, like I say, the, the um, decorating goes pretty quick. It's just finding a piece to kind of finish it off. Okay. a little bit too. There we go. Okay, there is that one. Alrighty then, let's make some more bases. Got those five done done. We'll show them at the end again too. So, Okay, so what do we have left to work with here? Let's let's do that one as the base. Let's see. I better make sure these are going to fit on a page. This is eight and a half, just as it is. So is this. So... Okay, I want the tab to be on this side on this one. So I'm just going to push that over a bit. Oh, I want to use this skinnier one. Yes, I do. Except it's too long. Just have to keep it even because of the of the height of it, don't I? Let's see. Got that pretty piece. Hmm. Pieces to go with it are kind of a wonder if I could use. Something in here. It's kind of the right colors. That's pretty. That might go. Oh, I know. Let's use. Let's use a piece of music, maybe. Kind of like that. Okay, I'm going to start gluing. I'm just going to go on this edge. Okay. Put it up on my grid just to make sure it's straight. Ish. I'm okay with straight-ish. Doesn't have to be perfect.
Well, this feels happy to have a good stock of these for upcoming journals. I want to make some Christmas ones, but I have to get my Christmas stuff out. That's coming, though. We are going to do that soon. Because I have lots of Christmas things I want to play with, so we'll see. I need to feel like I need to get started. Okay. Pop that right there. Hmm. Well, I'm going to put the tab on and then we'll figure out what else this needs. We'll just do this one all the way to completion. How about? Okay, I need something. I want to do one on this side. Hum, hum, hum. All these punches and can't decide. Maybe I need to go pink again. Let's kind of pull out the pink. I think I will. Okay. Um. Okay. The uh, embossed ones want to kind of fold funky because they're trying to follow the pattern of the embossing. I don't know which side is the right side anyways. I don't know if I did the right side. But it's the side I did, so we're just going to go with it. Put this one down here. Okay. Now... I don't want a whole lot because I just really love the paper, but let's get, since I've been using Claudia's, let's see if she has a, like a butterfly that will go. Ooh, what about this guy? Yeah, <laughs> I think just that. Oh, I have an idea. What about up and down word from a jewel design because that's just really plain right there I might put that right there I do think so that was just plain right there and it was bugging me and I thought well we could put an up and down word there that would work I'm just going to pop it a little lower than the than the other papers. Okay, yay. I like that one too. Good, good. And we still have time left. Okay. Pop that one over there. That's 6, I do believe. Let's do one on this. <coughs> oh, it's fun on this side too. But I think I want to do this. Um, and I wonder if I have a, a paper in here that would go well. Actually, it'd be kind of fun to do a bit of a neutral one, wouldn't it? Okay. I think I'm going to put that there. Here I go distressing again. You know, can't help it. 
Okay, so then, I don't know. It's a little too big, but I could cut it down. Okay. I see a small piece that's going to work for me. Let's see, do I want, I think I want that there. And look at this piece with the measurements on it. Just trying to use the ones that are on my on my desk here and I didn't know I think I might just do might just do that and then see if we have um, actually we put that on last let's see if we have a Something that's going to That's kind of cute, isn't it? And I haven't found a home for this, so I like that part of it too. Okay? <clears throat> See, I better get to, get to getting running out of time, Gail. This is going to go on the side-ish. <coughs> okay. Now that's going to go there. So I'm going to put this kind of right there. Kind of, I think right there-ish. Okay, and then this. right there. <clears throat> then I think I'm going to see if I have a little something to put right there. Yeah, out of here. Um, what do I have here? Too big. What about this one? Yeah, I'm going to put that right there. Okay. I'm going to go right there. Oh, and we need a tab, don't we? Again, a neutral. Oh, I have a coffee dyed one. I kind of like that right there. Okay. Got to decide which side I like better. Do I like it that way? I think I like it.
like it that way. Okay, we got, what we get? Seven done, I think. And I have eight that are in my stash, so that gives me a good amount to choose from. Let's see, I'm going to go down on her a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so... Our little side tuck embellishment things. We have we have a few of them here. So we have this one we just finished. We have this one. I really like that one. Love the of course I love the colors of it. Um and then we have this one. We have this one. This one, this one, and this one. So not bad. Not bad for a little scrappy Saturday. So thanks, everybody, so much for watching. Thanks for being here. And we will just see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.